Now, before I get into the video, some of you might be thinking, what the hell is on her head? This lovely thing is a neck warmer, but I have also magically transformed it into like a headband type thing where it keeps my hair out of my eyes. So I mostly use it to study because right after this video, I'm hitting the books. Um, so this week we are talking about what we're passionate about. <sighs> okay, it's a long list, but I'm going to try and keep it short. Probably number one thing is the environment. I am passionate about the environment. I'm all for <clears throat> conserving it for future generations, not depleting our lovely resources out, um, out there. And at the end of the day, if your surroundings, i.e. the environment, supports your life, you should also take care to ensure that it can sustain your life in the future. So it's like a give and take. It's sustaining you, you need to sustain it. Um, <clears throat> leading on from that, I guess, is I'm sort of passionate about, passionate about politics. Um, <clears throat> now you might be like, oh, politics is boring, blah, blah, blah. But it's really not because at the end of the day, the people who are governing our country, your country, the world, um, make decisions on behalf of us, supposedly. Um, <clears throat> um, to make things better or in some cases worse. And um, I think it's really important that we get a say in what the big guys are doing, right? Because <clears throat> if we don't regulate what they're doing, they can pretty much do anything and if they're yeah if if they're in um, power for like a four year term they can get a lot done in that time so if you don't use your vote wisely you can end up with a shitty government that does shit things and ruins everyone's lives um, big ones I guess would be George Bush so that's why you should fucking care about politics so someone like him doesn't get back in. We don't really have people who are that extreme here, but yeah. Um, next thing I'm passionate about, soccer. You guys should know that. I'm a soccer player. Um, yeah, I like kicking ass at it too. Um, yeah. I played it since I was like five, since I can remember pretty much, and I would be lost without it. Like I wouldn't know what to do with myself if I didn't play soccer. I'd probably go insane because I need to expend energy, and it's like it's just so much fun and rad. Um, <clears throat> I know I've gone on a lot about uni and all that shit. How I'm doing an engineering degree. But I'd also like to take this opportunity to tell you guys that I am also passionate about doing art and I'm a believer in you need to exercise both sides of your brain, the logical, mathematical, scientific side and the artsy, like, creative side. So <clears throat> every now and then, mainly um, in uni holidays, I try to in some sort of art project most of the time it's doing a painting um, or, or making something yeah I, I really enjoy that and I truly truly believe that it's important to have balance in your life because you can't do science and shit all the time it's it's too boring and yeah um, this is what this is a desk accessory that I have this is so beside the point right now. Can you see it? I've had this since I can remember too. It's like a childhood toy that I just rediscovered this year. It's freaking awesome. <clears throat> so, oh, shout out to Brittany and all, and obviously Teresa and 
all her friends who I got to meet. They're cool, especially Hunter. So, yeah. What's up? Um, alright, that's all I can think of right now, but... Yeah. So, I'm gonna leave you guys to it, and enjoy your weekend.